That's the shores. Looks like they came out better than anybody or near the top. Coming up is Peck Plaza. Their seawall must have been real new. Looks like it's been painted after the hurricane because it looks awesome. You can see the difference to the side of Peck Plaza. That didn't work out as nicely. Interesting stuff there. Seawall's in good shape here, stairs are not. This seawall took a little bit of damage but held up pretty well. Their walk through stairs held up well too. Tiny little place here. Their pool is all exposed, even though their seawall didn't completely come down. It did on the side. That's the source of their problem. This big expensive building is rebuilding a seawall. That's PVC panels, not steel like the Hawaiian. I think they did that early on, must just be a temporary seawall situation, is my guess. This big expensive building had a pretty decent seawall, it held up pretty well. One stair access was destroyed, but they built a new one out of wood. This little place didn't fare real well. At all. Lots of little tiki hut lake things there. Exposed by the down seawall. Perennial vacation club took some damage. Coming up on a temporary seawall using the trap bags for this expensive condominium complex. So they have not begun anything on a permanent seawall as of March 28th when I'm recording this, which means they probably won't beat the turtle season. Delta Hotel has some PVC panels that are like two feet out of the ground in some places, three or four feet. Exposed pool. They haven't done much about their damage. These little cottages are building a seawall out of brick, it looks like, or stone of some sort. I don't know what's going on there. Same thing, they're trying to do a little bit of seawall reinforcement on this little place. This one took a beating. Exposed pool. No repairs at all. This expensive place, again, had a pretty strong seawall. Looks like it survived mostly. They've rebuilt stairs access for their people. That's the Caribbean condominium.
Next to the Caribbean is the Sun Viking Club. They have rebuilt two wooden stair beach access points. I'm not sure why they need two, but good for them. Next to the Sun Viking, we have another expensive condo that has done nothing so far for repairs. No beach access. Seawalls partly destroyed, partly intact. Pools exposed and destroyed. Nothing. A temporary seawall or start of a rebuild of the permanent seawall. And then you have sections like this that are in really good shape. But then you have the section right next to it that's not in good shape. This little place is totally closed. They took a lot of damage. They are not working yet beachside to repair anything. Could be curtains for that place, that's just my guess, but it looks weak. Here's the Ocean Court. The Ocean Court has trap bags for a temporary seawall. Otherwise, it looks like they've pretty much done nothing to repair anything but the trap bags to keep it going. And here comes the Hawaiian Inn. Crew out working on the steel panels, piles for the permanent seawall. Started a couple weeks ago. Got a long way to go. As you can see here, it's well over 600 linear feet of seawall that they will be building. So it's a big job. It's going to take months. One thing about turtle season, which starts May 1st, is as long as the permanent seawall work has started and they're making substantial progress, they get to continue. As long as the turtles don't actually show up right there at the seawall site. That's what we've heard from the mayor of Daytona Beach Shores anyway. This the last part of their seawall is, I believe, being torn down as part of that project also, to the best of my knowledge. A couple little private properties here. Their seawalls mostly held up well. Good for them. One of my favorite little places here, the Tropical Manor. They took some damage, but not horrible. Um, they haven't started really to do anything beachside to repair their damage, but they're fully open for business. Coming up then on the Aku Tiki and their outdoor tiki bar, as it says, open to the public. They, as far as I know, never shut down. They've been in business the whole time. They did suffer some damage. Here it's coming up. Most of their damage is right in here. Lost their beach access. And Perry's Resort took some damage. Nowhere near as bad as, say, the Hawaiian or some of the many of the others. They still have some beach stairs. They don't look great, but I guess they're letting people use them. No more damage in this section. This is still Perry's. They stretch out for a while here. You can see they lost part of their seawall and had a lot of erosion in that section. little cottages, I don't know what they're called, little cottages here took a beating. They haven't started to do anything for repairs. Same with this next one. No repairs started here at El Carib. 
Lots of people on their balconies there. And I'll let this go just a few more properties and I'm going to shut her down. Little place here took a lot of beach damage, seawall damage, no repairs started. This place is closed down. They're not they're doing lots of repairs, so looks like their seawall mostly held. Their stairs did not, but the but the condos or the hotel rooms or whatever they are, getting a lot of work done. Here's a walk-on access across from the Dollar General. And uh so that's the Opus building there. They've got some damage that they haven't started to repair. And this next place is again one of the expensive condo buildings. Had some seawall damage. Mostly it looks like their upper parts did survive. And they're doing no repairs at all so far. little slot in between here took a lot of damage not sure what that building back there is but there's a little something back there and that's about it for now